Hello, my name is Maxwell Hansen. And my name is Betty Beck. Today we will be reading from Isaiah chapter 61, verse 10 through uh, chapter 62, verse 3. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My whole being shall exult in my God. For he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decks himself with a garland, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the earth brings forth its shoots, and as a garden causes what is sown in it to spring up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all the nations. For Zion's sake, I will not keep silent. And for Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest until her vindication shines out like the dawn and her salvation like a burning torch. The nations shall see your vindication and all the kings your glory and you shall be called by a new name that the mouth, mouth of the Lord will give. You shall be a crown of beauty in the hands of the Lord and the royal diadem in the hands of your God. Hope, peace, joy, and love, God of Christmas morning, God of Mary and Joseph, the shepherds and the magi, the powerful and the dispossessed, we thank you and praise you for being a God of the shadows. We thank you and praise you for bringing hope where there is despair, peace where there is conflict, joy where there is sorrow, and love where there is hate or indifference. Give us the grace and wisdom to follow you and do the same. Thank you for being a God of freedom, who gives us a song to sing and who will finally free us from every cage. Give us the courage and boldness to follow you into a new dawning day. Thank you for coming to dwell with us, to live with us, and to love us back to life. 
Come, Jesus, come. Amen.